What's up, everybody? Welcome to Waco, 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 Texas. Waco. Waco, Texas. <laughs> They're all whacked out. Nah. Welcome to Waco, Texas. That's the right way to pronounce it. Anybody who says Waco, Waco. Anybody who says Waco isn't from here. That's how the locals pronounce it. We stayed at uh, whatever the crap. Bivar. Yeah, it's like a Bivar. Czech beer place. It was kind of cool. They gave us a free beer, which we didn't utilize. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like drinking <coughs> beer in the morning. And in the morning. And by the time we got back, it was too late to grab it at night. Yeah, I'm gonna have beer in the morning. That's definitely not how you start your day. If you start your day with a beer in the morning in Waco, Texas, your your life needs help. So I'm gonna put on my seatbelt and we're gonna explore Waco, Texas. Waco. Our hotel had a bakery. Right. <laughs> it also had a um, what do you call it? Where you make beer, a distillery. Yeah. Right. And a spa where you could take a bath in beer. Did I miss that part? Yeah. We're in downtown Waco, Texas. So we're gonna give you guys a tour of the city. Last night we drove around. Uh, it looks kind of um, there. You go. It looks kind of subpar. Mm -hmm. Is how I would describe it if I was trying to be respectful. Mm -hmm. It's not a fancy place. Mm -hmm. It's just a place. Ooh, I want to drive up that trailer. I want to drive up. No, no, no. You I can't drive do up. that. You can't do that. You never let me do anything fun. I let you. The guy would have. He would have. He would just crack up. He'd be like, "Why is this guy driving up my ground?" <laughs> he would wonder why I was up there. It looks like they were repairing their downtown. Mitchell and Waco. Mitchell and Waco. Mitchell and Waco. What are they making there? Mexican food. <sighs> this person behind us is kind of rude. I had a guapa conmigo, I say. So we're gonna give you guys a real tour of the city. So you guys, what it actually looks like out here. We're at, uh, what do you think about the hotel we stayed at? Other than the nice. price tag, let's not even talk about the price. The bed was the most comfortable bed I've slept. Yeah, you know, I I was almost gonna look up the brand to see what it was. Mm -hmm. And not that it would say, would it? Really? It was a very comfortable sleep. I'm not. I, I don't wake up nothing hurting or nothing like that. I slept the whole night. I slept good. Very comfortable. Um, <coughs> I like how they had a ceiling fan. So I didn't have to put the temperature that low. When you put the temperature really low, it makes you cough and stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, that's not one way. You can't go that way. Hey, I was going to go wrong way. That's the one way. <laughs> that's a Scott Kilmer laugh right there. <laughs> Everybody knows that East Waco is the best. What's going on there? You notice how many homeless people there were? Like Not, not a whole lot, but like too many for sure. It wasn't like it was an incredible amount of homeless people, but it was enough to make you feel, oh, whoever did that graffiti piece did really well. I wouldn't even call that graffiti, though. That's more like art. Would you call that graffiti? Whatever it is, I like it. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go to Waco? What a fun place to be. Where you want excited excitement for the whole family in Waco, Texas. We've got a rodeo. Do you want excitement for your whole family? Bring them to Waco, Texas. In Waco, they'll have a blast. We have wacky, wavy, inflatable two mans. We have a Hank Hill. <coughs> Texas Challenge, where the streets are filled with life, where the tones of brown, gray, and other sad colors come together in a rainbow of sadness. In Waco, Texas, one of the most exciting places in the world. The streets are filled with life. Restaurants are packed to the brim. The colors of joy and life are completely gone from this location where you can experience depression, boringness, and a desire to be somewhere else. 
bring your whole family to Waco and watch them become completely obsolete. <coughs> Whether you hate your family or you really want to see them suffer, Waco could be the place for your entire family to hit depression. I could say I like this a lot more than us. Dude, I honestly would rather live here than Austin. Yeah. Despite the fact it's like completely dead. Mm -hmm. If you want to come closer to your family due to depression and lack of things to do away from them, this town will bring you close to your family. You'll all together be sad and miserable. With miserable incomes, poverty, and affordable housing, you'll have a place to live with your miserable family. Mm -hmm. Founded by Mr. Waco himself in 1812, the city was founded. Stumpies. Where the horse decided to poop. The horse had been constipated for weeks. <laughs> Finally, after weeks of constipation before passing away from it, the horse decided to poop right here where the town was founded. When the horse finally pooped, everybody screamed, Waco! I'm not good at this. <coughs> this is legitly as boring as Montgomery. Yeah. But I would give it is that it's more exciting than Austin. I do not like Austin one bit. No, I like this more than Austin. Welcome to Uptown. Hmm. People here on all types of uppers. Mm -hmm. This is 18th Street. That's 17th and 18th up there. Is 18th a one way? Uh, yeah. I was going to go on 17th, but then I saw this police car. It's a one way. I don't want to be behind a police car. Yeah. I don't want to be in front of a police car. I wait for the cop to pass and then I'll do a U turn. You know me, I don't, I, when you carry a little substance, it's the last thing you want to stop. Rustic do. Furniture Warehouse? When you're carrying a little substances, you don't want to be in front of a police car. You don't car. have anything. I don't have anything, but I still feel nervous. Mm -hmm. I feel nervous. You saw the popo? I pulled a strategic move right there by pulling a U-turn when the cop wasn't looking. This is just the type of thing you can learn from watching my show. Great for the whole family. Okay. 17th Street will take us right through Waco. This is the heart of Waco. As you can see, it's a bustling city with bustling Look, a car up there. Mm. No, come back. I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they fixing up their town? Is it nobody here? Maybe in the summer. Why the crap would you come here in the summer? <laughs> <laughs> really it's usually when people this motel, travel. This motel is like the raggediest motel I've ever seen. It needs some help. It needs to die. Just go away. It needs to be featured on Fixer Upper. <laughs> that motel right there? Yeah. yeah, they need to take care of that motel. Somebody take care of that motel right there. <laughs> Ow. I want the M Electronics. I can't believe that's still in business. This guy drives El around. Charo Tapatio. That sounds like it'd be good. I yeah. bet you they got good Mexican food here. I'm oh, sure. Any town this boring is guaranteed to have amazing Mexican food. Yeah. Amazing Mexican food. Amazing Mexican food. Amazing Mexican food. <laughs> Try not to laugh, but I can help it. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, my. I'm like out of breath. Hmm. <laughs> I'm 
amazing Mexican food. Little bars on the windows. Yeah, I realized I needed to be babying a video, so. Um, yeah. This is completely. How many people live in Waco? I could find out. You could. You do have a cell phone device there. Yeah. And the ability to be productive, even though you. Okay, it's bigger, nicer houses. It's yeah. still absolutely depressing. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're in Gary, Indiana. Some of these houses have been I put featured the phone, on Fixer Upper. Look, look, see, look. I've I put the phone on no settings at all, no internet, no Wi-Fi, nothing, and I just kind of text messages. Huh. Why? I turned off everything. I didn't put it on do not disturb. But if the if, if I turn off everything, should should the text message be coming through? It is true. I forgot to put it here. They keep me. We're gonna go down 18th Street one little bit, then we'll come back around. Amazing Mexican. 139,000. Wow, it's a big town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a medium sized city. And medium sized cities always do best on our channel. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of neighborhoods like this with like little Cape Cods and stuff. Amazing Mexican food. Amazing Mexican food. Waco has. Amazing Mexican food in every intersection. And I'm in horrible looking motels. They ask for rent. Well, right here in the hood. Uh, it's not in the hood, but it looks depressing. Mm -hmm. You know what this reminds me of? Macon, Georgia. Yeah. This was like Macon, Macon. Yeah. This is Texas is Macon. This is a depressing looking neighborhood here. In a Mexican, Mexican food. Amazing. Mexican food, amazing Mexican food. This song is black, bro. Mm. Wait, go. That's amazing Mexican food, amazing Mexican food. This town looks. This town does look depressing. It does. It looks like there's nothing going on. I still like it more than Austin. I would still not if, if I had to pick between this and Austin. I'd be here. I'd be here. I would be. I'm not a king. I really would be here. Yeah, I would be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having a Mexican, Mexican food. Oh, now we're getting to some excitement. Oh, yeah. Up there. Don't see what. It looks more. Kind of urban? Yeah. No, but the hood's not this way. No, 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 no. I'm talking like. There's buildings and stuff? Yeah. Like the little motels. I love these little motels on hills here. Yeah. Amazing Mexican food. This definitely looks like Texas. They need to fix things in the town and have it yeah. designed. Yeah, that TV show's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> that TV show got a long way to go right now. They only do houses. <laughs> they got a long way to go, man. They got a long way to go. In Waco, a long way to go. In Waco, they got a long way to go. In Waco. They got a long way to go in Waco. They got a lot of things to fix. Breaking down windows, walls to paint. This city looks like it's a shame. Mm -hmm. It looks like they ran out of paint. But litter was never a problem. They had plenty of litter. It was never a problem. White garbage bags and Mountain Dew cans. Makes the city look like, yes, we can litter. They'll hear litter more than a cat. they hear more litter than a pregnant cat. There is a lot of litter here. This town looks. Dollar General that sad. looked like it was an old Ecker. It's like a twin of Montgomery. Oh. But better, because they got more Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> At least they have good Mexican food. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go on the street right here. This neighborhood would be prominently featured on the cover photo of our video. Pretty the sun's much. facing that way. <clears throat> Can I see a map Now, why would you want to do that? Take a foot away from you. So, what direction we're heading in? 
Well, I'm trying to work. I had a plan. Here's the problem. We're going to have to face this out for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, not exactly. <sighs> Amazing Mexican food. Amazing Mexican food. They have amazing Mexican food. Embarrassing conditions of housing. We're gonna have to face the sun for a little bit. Otherwise, we're never gonna get up out of here. Oh, yeah, I need to. I'm gonna go back in town. GPS, um, Fort Worth is what they wanted. Yeah. These people should have no shortage of houses to fix. That's yeah. And that's what the TV show is about. Where am I going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Amazing Mexican You gotta quit it with us, huh, Jose? It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Well, nope. All these houses that are falling to crap, they're building more. Despite the fact there's cops everywhere, I don't feel safe. That's the problem. <laughs> and that's the problem. I don't feel safe. Why is that? Because we're in Waco, Texas. So? These roads are bumpier than a bump. Two rot riders. A rot rider and a drummer chopping running around. That, that just feels great. That's really encouraging. in this town. Is it really? Yeah, Baylor. I always wanted to go to college. I just feel like I'm the type of person that could really be a good professor. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they could, is that a job? Is that a squatter? Yeah. Yeah, they looked at the front a little bit. And then they went and had a mixing Mexican food. Where are going to be facing the sun for like four blocks of us. are kind of like run down looking, metal bars on the windows, litter outside. Yeah. It's kind of depressing. But I know they have amazing Mexican food. Alright guys, so we'll be making a left turn. I know the sun's in our face right now, but we'll, we'll be getting that out of the way here soon. Amazing Mexican food. Waco, Texas has amazing Mexican food. Amazing Mexican food. Jose. Oh, sorry, that's not really. Yes. Sorry. All right, guys, we'll be turning left soon. Stay with me. Wow, oh, I have not seen that in a while. See the cops on there? Mm. Let's investigate. There's like a whole scene on phone over there. Mm. There's probably a, a restaurant there who didn't have amazing Mexican food. Jose! <laughs> Give it a rest. So the cops came to arrest them for not having amazing Mexican food. Oh my gosh. Please stop that. That's like, it's I'd rather hear the Big Louie Louie song. It's worse than a Big Louie Louie song? Uh -huh. Wow. They don't have Big Louie Louie. 
No. There's like a whole crime scene unfolding. What's going on here? Testing? This is like probably testing. Testing in your car? Yep. Oh, is it that many people getting tested still? Yeah, it was, it's still a thing. I think it was this block right here. Let's go this real far now. Cops were very upset at a restaurant who didn't have. Okay, the way you looked at me was like, I knew if I said something, it would be yeah. a deadly mistake. <laughs> like, not getting. <laughs> this neighborhood looks so. I like that house in front of us. I don't know why I like it, I just do. Yeah, there's like a police on scene pointing somewhere around here. Uh -huh. Your phone froze. You should do this. There's cops on the street. That way or this way? Gone now. They left to get. <laughs> it's a pigeon coop. Cool. The cops went somewhere else. It's the wrong time. They're gonna go get. Amazing. Hey, look at him. If I finish this sentence, I'm gonna be in trouble. Yeah. So guess what got a sponsorship offer this morning? We didn't. The Pigeon Channel. What do they want to do with us? They want us to sell pigeon medicine. I'm not working. I'm not working now. That channel. Pigeon <clears throat> Medical Insurance. Oh no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. How much did they offer to pay us? Medical, Medical insurance, insurance for, for any pigeons we have. That has got to be a scam. <laughs> People are insuring their pigeons. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. I'm sure that they would just make you go get like veterinary tests on them and stuff to keep up your insurance. Probably. You'd probably end up spending. People are dumb enough to do it though. I know somebody dumb enough to do that. Right we just said that offer to them. <laughs> when you know you get medical insurance on your pigeons. Wow, that's a lot of litter. There has to be a We reason. should insure those pigeons. How much litter there is yeah. right here. <laughs> and then they uh, can pay for the veterinarian bills. Well, look how much litter. Yeah. There has to be a reason. It must be like the street must be really bad in here. <laughs> Looks like it just flows from over there. Oh, dude, this is filthy. Yeah. This house needs to be on fixer up. This neighborhood needs to be on. That one might have been. They're building new houses. Look how much litter those people have there. Dude. This neighborhood is... Let me drive... Let me just around the block real quick. We gotta see more of this. Amazing. Mexican hood. Ah, one letter off. Okay. I didn't say the F word. It's an amazing Mexican hood. Amazing Mexican... This is a bit out here. Amazing Mexican hood. Amazing Mexican hood. We're gonna get a cover photo in this neighborhood. I'm just waiting for my cover photo to pop up in front of me. It might have been on that street over there. Makeshift fence. They have like this is here. This is super viral, bro. Yeah. This is like super grimy out here. It's like random shoes. Amazing Mexican hood. Amazing Mexican wood. You didn't forbid me from saying wood. This neighborhood is grimy, bro. Sure, we don't get no bed bugs out there. Turn right on the road down yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's in the real streets of Waco, Texas. Dude. But I heard they have amazing. Mexican cook. Let me say it. Let me 
heard if I say a new catchy phrase, you'll be upset. Mm -hmm. The house is nice. Right there, they put a new roof on it, they fenced it in, they're painting it. Yeah. Look at this one. That's like blowing apart. Oh, they have like so much like character, even though it's like really hood. Look how much crap they got. That's a cover photo right there. So is this one. So there's like an abundance of cover photos in the street. Hold on, yeah. man. I gotta swing back through here. We're facing the summer though. We gotta be we're not facing the Where's the, the part of town that had features on fixing her up? I can tell you this is not it right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Like, we're, we're here we're to do a fixer upper. Cameraman, are you ready? Uh cameraman, where's the camera? We're here. We're gonna use this chainsaw to cut this two by four. Where's my chainsaw? <laughs> I'll be going to the part of the episode. I'll be going to the pawn shop to retrieve all the stuff that got stolen and pawned. Mm -hmm. Dude, this looks grimy out here for real. Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't like that we turned around. He looked back at us. He still looked at us. Wow, that's never cool. Yeah. Blue Jay. A blue day. It's a new day. It's a green day. It's a new day to get a blue jay. It's a new day to get a blue jay. Today's a new Is there day. a part of town that I'm just like missing here? I where you're in it. <laughs> you're in the thick of the action. Yeah. No, like around. on the television show. Hang around. Go get some Mexican food. You're in the thick of the action, man. I know. This is it the right here. The part of the town that was on the Fixer Upper show. Oh, this is it. This isn't what you expected. These houses don't look like they've been fixed up. Oh, this is it. You're in the thick of the action, man. Hang around here. <laughs> Drink some toilet wine. We'll drive by. You're in the thick of the action, man. You're knee high in the Waco. There's got to be a part of town that's been remodeled. No, this is it. You're going to think of the action. There's more parts of this town, I know. No, this is it. This is as good as it gets. We'll hang around here, get shot at. Go back to the other hood and shoot take back me to them. the Take me to the part where they were modeled. This is it. It doesn't get any better than this. Well, we maybe that house because that's like <clears throat> ship lab. We hang around here. Maryland Avenue. Do a drive by. And then come back and do a retaliative drive by back on us. Go to our cousin's funeral who got shot at. Go back and eat some great Mexican food and then do it all over again. You're in the thick of the action right now, babe. Please find me the neighborhood they were modeled. Somehow I think people would leave you alone if you lived here, though. Yeah. It's not like living in the neighborhood where people are like all over your face. It yeah. seems like if you lived here. People would just kind of let you be to your own way mm -hmm. after they stole your truck. Yeah. Dude, this is grimy. Yeah, it might be. Fixed. Yeah, they're building new apartments across the street, but this is a little bit What the crap is going on here? Oh, they did not like us pointing the camera. Okay, my bad, bro. Yeah. My bad. Uh, let's, let's go to another my neighborhood bad. in the city. My bad, bro. nicer part of town? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You would know because you watched her TV show? I mean, I would know because I've just been in the real grimy streets. Mm -hmm. Are they going to fix this one up? Anytime soon? I don't know. I don't think. That looks like it's got some structural features. Keep out. Amazing wacko wacko. I went to Mexico. And I was like, where can I get some amazing Mexican food? And they said, not in Mexico, in Waco. Because Waco has amazing Mexican food. 
it's weird how like even though there's dilapidated stuff everywhere, they're still building new stuff. Yeah. Does that make any sense? No. I would rather live in a fixed up older house than one of these. Yeah. Whatever the crap these ones are. But that's like the banking system is doing that to people. Yeah. They don't help you buy a house cash. They make it so where you have to buy their new building. It's, it's like all rigged up to be like that. Mm -hmm. It's all rigged up. Gonna get to the point where you're gonna need to use your credit card to buy amazing Mexican food. Mm -hmm. I thought you were gonna hit me if I said that again. Uh, yeah, you don't let me hit you. No crap. Why would I let you hit me? Mm -hmm. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and say that this town needs to be remodeled. I'm not seeing the remodel stuff. Nice old boss over right there. I think it's like that town of Laurel we went to in like Louisiana, where everybody thinks it's fancy, but it's really dumb. In Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mississippi. We should do a top ten most overrated, uh, overrated towns, overrated cities. Mm -hmm. Number one would be Austin. Number two would be Laurel, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Probably this. Yeah, they could make a list. If yeah. people watch a TV show about remodeling cool looking houses mm -hmm. and the town actually looks like this, it's definitely overrated. Because you were like all hyped up about it. Yeah, we're going to wake up out there for remodeling beautiful old houses. And we show up and they're like, You want to buy a taco homes? Buy a taco. Oh, look at the Capri, son. <laughs> oh, this is the hood out here for real. Oh, wow. We're in the hood now. We weren't even in the hood. Oh. We were just. Playing games, we weren't even in the wow. Why are there cops everywhere? Why are there cops everywhere? We really, in the, we weren't even in the hood. Punch up, central tip. We weren't even in the hood. Mm -hmm. We were just hood adjacent. Hood adjacent. Dude, people in this town have a lot of junk. Hold on, sir. I'm driving to the hood. And it looks like they're fixing houses. <clears throat> Building houses. Building. Yeah. Actually, this the, the front street looks really hood, but the back streets look really nice. At least it looks like they're trying to keep up the houses. Turn right onto West Waco Drive. Yeah, so this is probably the hood, but let's keep it moving. Alright, we can't be here forever. We got we got other towns to explore. Ooh, nice Chevrado. A Chevrado. Dude, people in this town are filthy. Clean up your town, bro. Look at the filth and garbage and, and garbage and filth, bro. Like, are you embarrassed to be from here? When I look, okay, I gotta go across the street. I know I said we were done, but then I looked across the street and I was like, okay, what's going on over there? I must see more. Okay. <laughs> we're leaving. They'll look across are we the doing a forty-five minute to an hour video here? Well, well, yeah, we should because it's it's a it's the right size city for it. Yeah. But we gotta go for real. We gotta go. No, let's do it. Let's no, do it. like people don't even watch. Do people even watch any of these videos? Yeah, I do. If anybody's made it this far in a video, please let me know. I'm curious to know if people actually make it this far in the video. My dad told me to make 50, instead of making a four, instead of making one hour long video, mm -hmm. make four 15 minute videos for a time. Mm -hmm. One show on the hood, one show on downtown, one show on the streets. And it makes sense because nobody watches any of these videos. And I think if it's a longer video, it stands a bigger chance of being more significant yep. on the internet in the long run. Yep, that's what I do. That's my theory behind it. It's not I don't like, look for stuff for the short term, I yeah, look for long term. Exactly. I want a video that three years from now is still making me 15 cents a month. Even if it's three years from now. Because then when you have a thousand videos making 15 cents a month, it adds up. But we're looking at this for the long term. I don't want to make a video now. That one. I want to make a video that, okay, here's a one hour long video for this town. No matter how many videos about this town get uploaded to the internet, less than 1% will ever be an hour long video. Yeah. 
here's the church is shaking. Now, church is shaking. They invest in the best parts of every city. The hood. Where are we going here? So I'm just going to go ahead and say this town is in horrible shape. Yeah. And I'm sure we could drive around and find more beat up neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And we could probably drive around and find nicer neighborhoods too. But we're not going to show the nice neighborhoods. Because apparently there's already plenty of that on the internet. According to Katie. One house on each episode. Are you upset or disappointed that the town's not as nice as you thought it was? Like the way they portrayed it on the internet, they portrayed it as this like perfect little town. And then you drive around and there's like kind of uh um, This house is full of ship lap. I'm trying to figure out where they are. It doesn't seem like they exist. <laughs> you know what that does exist? Amazing yeah. Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Watch that catch on with this town, everybody's like, amazing Mexican food. <laughs> and we were watching, like, what TV show was that? A&E &E or what, what is that? HGTV. HGTV one day, like, let's go get some amazing Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, HGTV is not. They have, like, their own network now. They're not going to like us too much. Yeah. First, we're saying that Wetumpka's racist, and we had to move out. Yeah. But that's the reality of yeah. this. You know, the reality of HGTV is that they're full of crap. Yeah. We can make a video on why HGTV sucks. First, they're portrayed uh, uh, Wetumpka, Alabama, as this like progressive, like all oh, great place. It's and not. we got ran out of there for being Hispanic. And then they were portrayed Waco as this beautiful, historic town. This place is falling apart, bro. But it does have. Amazing breaking abilities. Yeah. I think HGTV is a little crap. Probably. Like they're making people think they're these little towns that are great. Show the real streets. The real streets, son. The real streets. Yeah, I think there's a lot of misrepresentation on that TV. On that, on that show. They make everything feel like. We're going forward. Yeah. All right, you better be right on this. Mm -hmm. Cause I was getting ready to go to Hialeah. I know. I knew about that one. Now I'm trying to get this video to go. Don't want to. That hotel was nice though. Yeah, it was nice. Fairly expensive though. Yeah, it was nice. I mean, not everybody. I mean, we we did it every every on every road trip. We'll do at least one really fancy hotel stay because we are going hard. Or we yeah. need one day where we can just relax and kind of just like where you know the bed's gonna be good and you're gonna be able to sleep real good. Yeah, and they bring your breakfast to your room. Yeah, and, you know, for so free. Yeah, it's included. Yeah, and then you know, like the restaurants downstairs, and you know what I mean. And you know, we started the video right in downtown. You know what I mean, like. At some point in the trip, we had to take one day to just kind of like really Relax. focus on us. Yeah. Because being on the road 10 days straight is exhausting. Okay. We're, not, we're not early people. We wake up at 9 in the morning, 8 in the morning, leave the hotel room by 11 or something. We're not that early. But sometimes it's 11, 30, 12 at night, we're still on the road. Yeah. You know, by the time we get to the hotel, I mean, you guys have seen it when we up with videos at 2 in the morning. That means we just got to the hotel and just took a shower, ready to go to sleep, and then. If we're going to sleep, boom, pause the video. So we are going hard. Yeah. And it's all sex too. Everyone. Amazing I'm... Mexican food. Yeah. We definitely had some on this trip. Should I stop it at 40 or go to 45? Go to 45, see what it actually is in the north side of this town. <clears throat> it could be called the east side. It's one of those towns that doesn't know which way they're facing. Oh. So apparently in Texas you don't need an escort for this. Most states that would require like uh, a lead and an escort. In Texas you can just wow, big rocks flying off on the road with the crowd. You hear them hitting yeah. the car?
That's a big fish. Look how much inventory they got. Yep. When you go to Florida, they say they don't have any inventory. Let's try the places. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Don't they make them here from? Oh, there's still bad neighborhoods all the way up in here. That looks pretty beat up right there. Yeah. Temperature is 68 degrees. I can't breathe. I'm kind of short breath. I don't know if it's like there's so much dust or something or what, but <coughs> I'm about ready for a nebulizer or something. Mm. Too bad we don't have any more. We gotta go to the doctor so we get some more of it or something. Yeah. Never stiff the court. Texas with their family from California. Yeah. And they said that their son got asthma and it wouldn't stop. Yeah. Because of the dust or something. Yeah. Because I guess here, like, well, you can look, it's like all the trees are dead, the grass is dead. Like. <coughs> what part of Texas did they move to, remember? I don't know. I'm about feeling it right now. I can't breathe. I'm ready for a nebulizer. So basically, if you're Hispanic, you can't just move to like Western Texas, right? Did we ask her what part of Texas did she go to? No, I didn't. I didn't even talk to her. Ask her what part of Texas. You tell my messenger. And they said they moved to Texas and they all got asthma. Her son got asthma and they were really sick. I don't know. Like, it's like a dust bowl. I'm breathing with my wife and my wife. I'm breathing with my mouth wide open right now. <coughs> and it's not like a cold. This is definitely asthma. I've been taking allergy medicines well, since I've been here and it's really helping. Give me one. The Claritins yeah. like clear me up. Yeah, I think it does. Well, they also make you like really crisp. I feel like when I take one, I feel really like my vision improves or something. Mm -hmm. No water back here? Johnson used our clips for a while. Did it drive up our shuttle views for a little bit or no? Kind of? Yeah. We'll see what he's got. Let's see how big his shuttle is. If he doesn't have more than 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to lose. I mean, crap, Nick Johnson's got half a million subscribers. It's worth letting somebody like that use for videos, but somebody with less, though. Five miles an hour on a trailer. 